London, one of the oldest museums on Earth. By day, visitors come to see the treasures within, but by night, it's a different story. Children approaching. They're here. Welcome to the British Museum. You are about to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. You will never forget this night. Now, let me introduce myself to you. I'm Agatha, your tour guide. It is my job to guide you through this evening. I'm very much like the tour guides you see around during the day, except I only do the night shift. Uh, that's because I'm dead. Now, I'm not going to tell you how I died. All I will say is I am definitely dead. Now, you three are very much alive, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Now, you must be wondering why you've been summoned here in the middle of the night. Listen carefully. You have... and you will all see the vision fail and the vision will be revealed to just one of you and you will have only their memory to rely on your knowledge of the three visions will be tested in the final battle when you come face to face with the dark lord succeed and you will become guardians of the museum and receive the golden scarab fail and you will become relics yourselves and part of the museum forever Agatha that was the Dark Lord. He knows of your arrival, and the Dark Forces will be on their way. But we must keep moving. On to your first challenge, chaps. Follow me. Stick together, stick together. Just stick together. Run as fast as you can, Nagatha. My Dark Forces are coming for the children. <laughs> We should be safe here for a few moments. We need to unlock a vision to find out about your relic, which means it's time for your first challenge. But it doesn't happen here, I'm afraid. No, we must transport ourselves back to Mother India. Now, to do so, you must follow my instructions. So, hold on tight. Come along, come along. Really tight, I don't want to lose anyone. Can you imagine? Now, are you ready? Let's go. Goodness me, oh, you took me the long way round, didn't you, silly thing? Is that the first time you've time-travelled? Yeah. Yeah, it's jolly good fun, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see. Now, this is a mogul palace. Now, it's a little-known fact that this palace was probably built by the great-grandfather of the imperial princess Jahanara. That's her over there. Give her a wave. She's been imprisoned by her younger brother. So this team is your first challenge, to free that princess. You must choose a key and try it in all three locks. If it doesn't work, run back here and choose a new key as quickly as you can. You must have all three locks unlocked at the end of 90 seconds in order to pass. Now, if you pass, all three of you can see the vision and find out about your relic. If you fail, I'm afraid only one of you can see the vision. And three heads are better than one when you face the Dark Lord. Who's going to go first? I'll go first. You're going to go first, are you, Clinton? Right, get ready. And you can go in three, two, one, go! Give him some words of encouragement, me. ladies. No. Try it in all three locks. I really need your help. That's one. Two, three. Oh, not the word. Come back. <laughs> That's disappointing. Right, next one. Oh. Quick. Let's hope this one's a good one. Oh, please hurry up, please. Come on, Jasmine. Come Go. on. One, two, three. <laughs> oh no! Back, back, back. Sixty seconds, team. Oh. Quick, quick, quick. And the next person, quickly. Jolly good. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Oh, and he drives very well done. Very well done. Quickly, and back, and back. Jolly good. 
Very well done. So that's one key fan. We've only got two more to go. Off you go, Clinton. Hey. Very well done. That's 30 seconds left. Come on, get a move on. Any joy? Uh. Oh. oh, no, that's very disappointing. Get ready, Jazz. Ready, go. Jolly, oh, take care. Ten seconds left. Team. I'm afraid you're out of time. That's two out of the three. I'm afraid the princess is going to be stuck there. Give her a wave. Oh, I'm very sorry, princess. Oh, team, what happened? You weren't fast enough. You weren't yeah. fast enough. I'm afraid it means you failed and only one of you can see the vision. But it's not the end of the world. You just need to choose someone with a good memory. Now, you must decide as a team who it's going to be that sees the vision. Me. China. China. You've got a good memory, have you, China? Yeah. Jolly good. Now. Jazz and Clinton, I need to send you back to the museum, OK? So, don't touch anything while I'm gone and mind out for the dark forces, OK? Take hold of my torch. Where are we? Oh. It is just you and me. So, the entire team is relying on you to remember everything you see in this vision. Do you understand? This is the fun bit. OK, so to unlock the vision, we need to stand in a special way. So, put your ankles together, stand up nice and straight. I will say a rhyme, you simply do as I say, in case your hand's on the torch. So, secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in, hold on tight, close your eyes and see. The vision begins. We're over 5,000 miles from the museum in Tenochtitlan, the ancient capital of the Aztec civilization. <gasps> Who's that? A priest. Look, round his neck, a double-headed serpent made from beautiful turquoise. A sacrifice. They wish to appease their gods. Oh, many died here. The image is fading. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. There we are. Right now, where are your teammates? We're here! Quick, quick! Clinton, Jazz, quick, quick, quick! Now, China, you've seen the first vision. Yeah. Do you think you can remember everything about it? Yeah. Right. Tell your teammates as much as you can remember. Okay. okay. And there was a priest mm -hmm. who wore a double-headed um, serpent around his chest. Could that be the relic? Where was it? Um, it was in Tan Tan Tango or Tanginesia. And and what was he doing? He was like holding like a knife pointed upwards. You'll need all that knowledge about the double-headed serpent when it comes to the final battle. So keep it locked up here. Speaking of which, we must keep moving. We're not safe. Now follow me. <laughs> you have a long night ahead. Will you remember everything China told you? Let's stick together. <laughs> Mind out those dark forces. Quick, in here, but keep alert. Quick, quick, quick. Here we are amongst the many treasures of ancient Greece. Take a look at this beautiful vase. Yeah. It tells the story of the birth of Pandora. What's now, that? we need to unlock another vision. So your next challenge takes place in ancient Greece. So, you know what to do? Gather round. Quick, quick, quick. Hold on tight. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Jolly good, let's go. <sighs> oh. oh, right, now, where are we? Yes, I know where we are. I am a tour guide. Follow me. No, hold on. No, this is wrong. Sorry, sorry, it's my mistake. Where are we? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, look, isn't it beautiful? And that over there, unless I'm mistaken, and I'm very rarely mistaken, is Pandora. Greetings! I am Pandora, daughter of the gods. Would you like to play a little game with me? Yeah. Okay, okay, now then. Now listen. In front of you are three magical boxes. Two of these boxes contain a lovely treat. However, 
one of these boxes is my box, Pandora's box. Whatever you do, do not open Pandora's box. <laughs> Your challenge is simple. You must find three treats to pass. If you choose Pandora's box three times, you will fail. One thing you should also know is evil can move between the boxes. So choose wisely. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. Which box will it be? Mm -hmm. The yellow one. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Now, this is not going to be Pandora's box, is it? No. <laughs> okay. I hope not too. Don't be too scared. Don't be too scared. Come on. Gather round. Gather round. Gather round. I hope it's in Pandora's box. Are you ready? Oh. oh, yes, it's a treat! Take a treat, take a treat! Oh, 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 oh that, that's so good! Oh, I'm so pleased, I'm so... Oh, you're so good, people! You're very good at this game. Now, all you have to do is pick two more treats. Which one next? Um, I don't know, I have one. Come, gather round, gather round, come on, gather round, gather round, come on. Ready? No! Yes. No! It's all right, it's all right. Come close, come close, come close. Come close. Okay, ready? <laughs> Going for green? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes? No, 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 I'm not sure. <laughs> Peter, you're not sure. Be sure. I just heard what people Please be sure. <laughs> okay, okay, green it is. Come along. Come on, gather round, gather round. Come on, gather round, gather round. Okay, and you come on. Okay, now are you ready for this? Please, let it be a treat. One more treat and you pass! Which one will it be? Mm. Right. Should we go for purple again? Yeah. Are you mad? <laughs> yeah. What okay. are you thinking? Purple. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Ladies, are you sure? Yes. yes. Young man, are you sure? Yes. Yes? We're going for purple. Come, ladies, come out. Okay, ready? Right. Are you ready? <laughs> Done. Report this to the gods. Jolly good team. Oh, come around here. How was that? Fun. Yes. It was you enjoyed it? It was really good and it was really scary. Really scary when the fury came yeah. out. Yeah, that thing. Well, team, you passed. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> and a pat on the back. Jolly good. Well, you know what that means. It means all three of you can see the vision. That's very good news. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in, hold on tight, close your eyes and see. The vision begins and we're leaving the Aztec capital Tenochtitlan. Where are we going? A ship, I see a ship. Who is this? I'm getting the name Hernan Cortez. He's been sent by King Charles of Spain to gain riches and spread Christianity throughout this land. They've landed. His journal. He says, we have traveled through the jungle and discovered a new and sophisticated civilization, a fierce race who sacrificed their people to their gods. We will give them a new god to worship, a Christian god. They must see the error of their ways. Listen to Hernan Cortez or face the consequences. <gasps> the image is fading. We're going back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. Goodness, what a vision. Now, team, do you remember everything that you saw? 
Yes. Right, what did you see? The date was 1519. 15, 15, 15, um, this man got sent by this the king of Spain. Yes. But I forgot the man on the ship's name. OK. The priest, the actual priest that was there. Who sacrificed people, people for their gods. And the, he, try, he tried to change their gods to Christianity. Knowledge is power. And the stronger you are, the weaker the Dark Lord will be. Remember, you will have to answer three questions correctly to receive the Golden Scarab and become guardians of the museum. Fail, and you will belong to him forever. What was that? Right, we must keep moving, chaps. Come along, follow me. Stick together. <laughs> it's getting late, and my dark forces are coming for you. Stop, 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 stop! I can feel something. The dark forces are upon us. We must hide. That looks like a good hiding place. Quick, 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 chaps! Find the children. They're here somewhere. Find them. Well done, team. Phew, that was close, wasn't it? We've got to keep moving. Follow me. We should be safe from the dark forces here. Oh, Egypt and mystery hangs thick in the air. Now, this is a very important Egyptian indeed. This is Merimose. Hello. Now, he was very rich. So rich, in fact, that he could afford to have not one, but three stone coffins made for him. Each lay within the last, making a sort of nest. Very posh. Anyway, on with your next challenge. Come along. Quick, quick, quick. You know what to do. Hollywood, assume the position. Now, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. yes. Jolly good. Let's go. <sighs> oh, oh, goodness me. That was a bit of a bumpy one that time, wasn't it? Sorry about that. Does everyone still have their earlobes? Just check. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Oh, phew. They can tend to get lost in transit. Right, now, where are we? Just squash up, squash up. We're certainly in a pyramid, but I wonder whose? Well, it's probably the pharaoh inside this golden mummy, but I wonder what his name is. Well, actually, this is probably his name written here. These are Egyptian hieroglyphs, and it's your final challenge, team, to decode it. Now, the code is written on the other side of this wall. All you have to do is take this archaeological brush and, one at a time, dive through this hole here. Now. Once you're on the other side, rush across to the sarcophagus and dust away the sand. Now, you will find a letter. If the letter corresponds to one of the symbols on the golden mummy, it will revolve and you can return to your teammates. But beware. If the letter doesn't correspond, you will awaken one of these three mummies. You must decode all five symbols on the golden mummy before you awaken the three mummies on this side of the tomb. Here is your brush, and you can go in three, two, one, go! Well, give him some words of encouragement, girl. I'm not leading! <laughs> Got it! It's a M. No! Quickly, get out of there! Cool. You. Jazz, off to you. <laughs> no. It's a bit scary. <laughs> Which one are you going to go for? Very good, very well done. S. Get running as fast as you can. I know. Um, it's M. M. Very well done. That's two in a row. You only have three more to find. <laughs> Passing the brush to Clinton. Okay. Give him some words of encouragement. Oh, Clinton. <laughs> Mind that mummy. Okay. China. 
scary at all. Really? No. Yeah. You seem to fly out of there when one awoke. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done. It means all three of you can see the vision. Are you excited? Yeah. Yep. Now, as you well know, being such a good team, you get into a certain position to unlock a vision. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in. Hold on tight. Close your eyes and see. Vision begins, and we're still in the Aztec capital. They think Hernan Cortez to be a god and shower him with gifts of gold. Look, the double headed serpent, a tribute to their gods. Something's wrong. I sense danger. He's saying something. He says, These gifts mean nothing to me. If the Aztecs refuse to convert to Christianity, we will destroy them, burn the city to the ground. <gasps> City under attack and a race forced to flee their homes. The image is fading. We're going back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. Goodness me. So that was your final vision. Yes? What do you remember, chaps? Well, there was a man called, what was it? Um, a man, Cortez. Who showered him with gold. Why did they shower him with gold? Was like he was like the king of the place like he was gonna burn down his that that person's land because they wouldn't change to Christianity right well well done remember all of that it will come in very useful now chaps it's time for your final battle do you feel ready yes it's time to face the Dark Lord good luck chaps follow me <laughs> Right, chaps, this is it. This is your final battle. Good luck. I just need to summon the Dark Lord. <sighs> the moon shines bright and darkness reigns. I bring three children here again. Their minds are sharp, the vision's seen. Dark Lord, awake. We challenge thee. You dare to challenge me with these children? They're no match for me. Actually, they've done rather well. Silence! Do you really think they have the knowledge to defeat me? Yes, absolutely I do. As you wish, let the battle commence. Three visions you have seen about a relic held within these walls. I shall ask you questions about what you have seen. Three correct answers will earn your freedom, and you will become guardians of the museum. Three incorrect answers, and you shall never leave. You will become relics yourselves, and remain here for all time. Your first question. China, step forward. Tenochtitlan was the capital of which civilization? Spain? Let us see. In Tenochtitlan, the ancient capital of the Aztec civilization. It was the Aztec civilization. Now your teammate belongs to me. Oh no! <laughs> He's got China! Next question. Jazz, approach. What was the full name of the man sent across the ocean by King Charles of Spain? Hernan Cortes. Let us see. Who is this? I'm getting the name Hernan Cortes. Yes. You still need two more, child. Leave. 
teeth and prepare for your next question. One right and one wrong. We need two more right. Clinton, approach. You feeling brave? Yeah. Jolly good. Off you go. In what year did Hernan Cortez arrive in the land of the Aztecs? 1519. Let us see. His journal. Look. You still need one more. Prepare for your next question. We just need one more, right? Jazz, step forward. Here you go, Jazz. Let's hope this is right. Hernan Cortez wanted to convert the Aztecs to which religion? Christianity. Let us see. If the Aztecs refuse to convert to Christianity, we will destroy them! No! Oh, team! You've done it! You've done it! No! And you freed your teammates! There's China! Hey! Yes! <laughs> oh, your knowledge of the double-headed serpent has defeated the Dark Lord. Congratulations, team. You are now guardians of the museum. And as such, you are to be rewarded... ...with this. This is the Golden Scarab. Now, these amulets are awarded to only those chosen few who prove themselves worthy on a night such as this. Pass it along. Now take care of these. For you never know when you shall be called on again. Goodbye, China, Jazz, and Clinton. Dawn is breaking. It's time for you to leave. Farewell, team. Yes! Oh, what a triumph! Three much-deserved guardians of the museum and a defeated Dark Lord. <sighs> well, my work here is done. But if those dark forces should return, I might need your help. Until then, dear friends, following on. Do you have what it takes to become a guardian of the museum? Play the relic game and find out. Watch for clues and answer the quizzes correctly to return all the lost relics to the museum and print off your very own certificate. Go to the CBC website now! Ooh, I start the day with a wild breakfast. Watch out! Oh! Rani's had too much raw without cornflakes. I get my morning treats online, building my own animal park. Lovely job. Is that a ham and cheese sandwich that you just asked for? No, no, I want a fruit salad. Yeah, and a laugh, aren't you? Could I eat one of these? Go on, that's really tasty, you all. Start your day with a roar. New episodes weekdays at 8 on the CBBC channel and play the game online anytime. You are watching CBBC, the home for my new series, Tracy Beaker Returns. Don't miss it. Yes, the Beaker is back for new adventures on the CBBC channel tomorrow at 5.15. Plus, if you go over there now, you can enjoy some of her past antics and stay there for all new high karate journey to Japan. It's the final episode today. It's a good one. <laughs>